Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing on this DeLonghi True Brew Automatic Coffee Machine. So it comes in a really big box and I'm sure with this advanced of a coffee maker, there's gonna be a lot of setup. Okay, so again, this is a really big box and it's really heavy. So let's see what we get. Let's take everything out of the box. So I think that's gonna be really heavy. We got a cord here. We need to be really careful unboxing this. It looks like there's some stuff in this piece of cardboard. There's a water tank. Yeah, that could have dropped out and cracked really easy. So be careful taking this out. Okay, so in that cardboard, there's where the water tank was. There's some manuals and stuff on one side. So pull those out. Now the unit that's left in there, it is, it is heavy. So we gotta be careful. So I have found sometimes it's better to kind of lay it on its side and then we're gonna pull it out onto the table on its side. Okay, so that was a little tricky, but there's all this. We're gonna take this plastic off. Make, we're gonna inspect it first, make sure nothing's damaged. We got some tape. Okay, so mine's in really good shape. There is this little, I think that's supposed to be there. There's a little like catchy on the glass there. Water tank's in good shape. This cover comes off, everything looks okay. So it looks like it's pretty well ready to go, but we're not gonna plug it in. We're gonna read the manual first, step by step. Okay, so we've got the manual, we got a quick start guide, we got like a hard water test strip, I think, a scoop, and some descaling solution. Okay, so it wants us to rinse out the, the, the water tank, and then we're gonna be priming the pump. Okay, so from what I can tell, everything is installed. I mean, this is just a little tray that comes down. Now this does slide out, but this was all, all of this was already installed. I'm not having to put any of this together, and I'm. Really not going to take any of it apart and wash it yet. So the only thing I did wash was the, the water tank. I filled it up to the max. Okay, so I just plugged it in. The lights flash. Something's... I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that, that's what it says. It says that light will light. And you're supposed to just hit the brew button. But we got to put a container here. Okay, I put the tray down. I got a container. Just hit the brew button, it says. All right. Looks like it's some of the water is going down. There's a lot going on inside the machine. I don't have any water coming out yet. Okay, I've got some water coming out. Now be careful, it's probably hot. Yeah, it's hot. Now, it did kind of start and stop a little bit, but it started back up again. Okay, so it stopped dispensing water, but now it sounds like there's something going on inside there. Okay, so now this is flashing, the bean light's on, so I guess I'm done with the water. I think we're going to set the clock now. Okay, so to set the time, we're going to press this, then the scroll button. Okay, we want AM. Now we're gonna do, this is the hours. What time is it? So it's 10. Then press this button to go to minutes. Use this to adjust the minutes. It's 10.07 a.m. And press this again. Looks like we can turn the, the beeps on and off. Hardness level, I think, or temperature. Okay, so I wasn't sure. I just let it sit and now we're back here. That I do have the correct time and the bean lights flashing. Okay, so let's go through these settings again. If you want to set the time, you're going to press this button, AM or PM or 24 hour. So if you don't want 24 hour, make sure it shows AM or PM. Press it again. That's the hour, minutes. Now this is the program if you want to auto start. We're not going to auto start it right now. Now this is the beeps. It says that's the acoustical sound. Press to enable. If I press that, that means it's on steady. It's not going to beep but we're gonna have it flashing, that means it's gonna beep. The next one is temperature. And it's one is low, two is medium, and three is high. The next one is water hardness. We can do one, two, three, or four. We're supposed to measure our hard, remove the test indicator, which we're gonna remove this test indicator, and we're gonna check our hard waterness. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. There's a, there's a test strip in here. 
We're going to immerse this test strip completely in the water for, it only says one second. 1001, okay. So now we got to measure the results. Okay, so each, they all started out as green. Now each square represents one level of softness. So I think I'm a between a two, between a two and a three. Okay, in the quick start guide, there's a much better representation. So I have hard water. So I'm gonna put it on three. If all four were pink, it would be very hard water. I'd put it on level four. I would change that number. So I might go to a two. Yeah, I'll probably go to a two. Now that's up here in the settings. We're gonna press this button. We gotta scroll through all these again. Temperature, hard waterness. I gotta go one, two, I'm, I'm gonna go two. Okay, so I took the lid off. We're gonna put coffee beans right here. Now, I'm not going to get any down in that little hole. Don't make sure none go down here. Okay, so as soon as I put coffee beans in, the coffee bean light went out. Okay, so to pick the size now, I'm just going to press this button and it lights up and beeps as it goes across. I'm going to do an eight ounce. I can do a light, gold, bold, over ice. If I want to put in my own ground coffee, I would light up that. But I'm going to do just a gold, when I'm ready to brew, make sure I got a cup. Okay, so make sure you got a cup underneath there and just press the brew button. So I can hear the beans going down. It ground some beans. A lot going on. I'm not sure how the first cup of coffee will actually taste, but we'll give it a try. hot 156 again this is the very first cup of coffee let's give it a taste okay okay that's not a bad cup of coffee that's pretty nice so even after the cup of coffee's done there's still some stuff going on behind the scenes you'll hear kind of a pop and a snap sometimes too okay i think it's done now okay so let's open this let's pull this you're just going to pull this there's a lot going on back here. Now there's where the coffee went. This is like a container that you can use to go over and empty the coffee. We've got some water in here that needs disposed of. Okay, so let's make an espresso with it. So I've got it on the three ounce. That is lit up. Let's do bold and let's just hit the brew button. So it's taking in the coffee. Okay, so here comes the espresso. Wow, looks like it's making a really good espresso. Okay, there's our three ounce espresso. Again, it the machine's gonna make some noises and do some things after it's done brewing. That light continues to flash until it's all done with what it's doing. I'll have to make that with a cappuccino or latte. Okay, so let's take a look at the bins inside. There is a light, a red light that lights up to let you know whenever you need to empty out the coffee and the water. So there's the coffee, it does make a puck. Looks like it pushes the puck out and there's all the extra water. There is a drip tray. And once in a while, this red thing will pop up. You gotta empty the drip tray. But I've been making quite a few drinks and there's not a lot underneath there. 
And then what's nice, both of these, you can just take them out, empty them out, and put them back. And again, this just slides back in. Let's take this apart. Okay, we're simply going to... Okay, so I was in air. You've got to turn power off, and you got to let it... It's a machine, and it kind of has to... Even when you turn power off, you'll hear some things, and it's kind of moving that basket up and down. So see, when you turn power on, you can hear, I'm not, I haven't started a brew or anything, but it's, it's moving that basket up inside there. Kind of getting things ready, even though I have not selected a brew. Yeah, so it's doing quite a bit. I just only turned it on and it's a lot of noise going on. Now, I, I can remove this, but I, I don't want to remove that yet because that's at a different position. It's like in a brewing position. So when I turn the unit off, put this back, and turn the unit off. Now the light flashes and it's gonna, you can hear, it's probably moving that thing down a little bit or something, but it's doing something different. It's not as simple when you turn it off, it's just like turns the display off. It actually is doing some work on the inside. And then it takes, now that light is completely out, not flashing. Now I come over here, I can see that's at a completely different position. I can come over here, it comes right out. So that was my fault, not knowing. I, I'm gonna leave it in the video just because I think it's gonna happen to somebody else. It goes in and out, we can rinse it out. Again, it's very easy. There's, you can't take anything apart here, but it, this is up at the top now. So I could wipe this off, rinse this out, you know. That's kind of the filter looks like or something. But anyway, rinse this out and then I'm gonna put it back. Okay, so now when you want to insert this, this thing does move. This, this part right here. So we're going to see how it is. We're going to put it in. Push. And it says you want to hear a snap. I hear it snap, and it's in there now. Now I can put this back in and turn it on. And then once I turn it on, it's going to do a bunch of stuff. Now the lights are lit up, and I can select a size. All right, let's do front to back. Looks like it's about almost 13 and a half inches. Well, actually about 15 inches. Left to right with the water tanks, about 12. And height wise, you're about 16. I mean, you've got to have a little bit of room to dump some beans in there. So it will fit under a kitchen cabinet just fine. Okay, so I got a lot to learn on this. This is the unboxing video. I'm going to be doing a detailed uh, review on it. I'm actually going to do a video on that, pulling that thing out. I think that's going to happen to a lot of people because um, it, Mine, I thought I turned it off. I don't think I did turn it off. But anyway, if you don't turn it off and try to do the maintenance on it, it's not going to let you. I mean, I was almost ready to send it back. But I'm going to do a really quick video on how to fix that. Just turn it off. If it gets... Now, they really... You don't... You can't unplug this. Like, if they say... Like, you got to power it down, then unplug it. Now, like some coffee makers, if it's not been... If it's not working... You can just unplug it and it's good to go. But this one has got some stuff that it moves up and down according to that power switch. So don't just randomly unplug it. Make sure it is powered off. And I am going to buy some fresher coffee beans. I didn't think... I, those coffee beans were kind of old, so I'm going to buy some really fresh coffee beans. Yeah, I'm super excited about this coffee maker. You know, it is $500. Um, it's got some things, you know, I'm liking about it. There's some things that are kind of I'm concerned about. But unboxing and setup was way simple. I, I can't believe how simple it was. I figured being this thing so complicated that it was going to be put this in, put that in, minimal parts. It was all together, put the water in, prime the pump, put the coffee beans in, you're ready to go. Very, very interesting how this was so easy to put together. If there's any other coffee makers you'd like me to buy or compare this one to, please leave them in the comments down below. If you could give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, I'm going to be reviewing uh, other new coffee makers that come out. So, and hit the notification button. There's a little bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. Again, I bought this coffee maker with my own money. So, and this video is not paid for. It's my own video. But I'm super excited for my detail review because I think I got a lot to learn about it. And I'm, I'm, I hope my video can help people. That's the main reason behind my videos is I kept that part in there where I messed up just because I won't leave it. It won't be very long, 
but I want I wanted to be in there just so that other people may make that same mistake and they can see it. So again, I really appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.